Hey everybody, Rob Vino, Wager Talk TV, back here with another free play selection and analysis. This time, we're going to go the route of NFL, specifically Thursday Night Football, Dallas and the New York Giants. Got a pretty good read, feel like I've got a pretty good read on that game. Somewhat simple, but good. Uh, but first, I want to make everybody aware of a special, current special going on at wagertalk.com. You can get a 90-day all-access package. With that purchase, you'll receive the next 30 days free. So buy the 90-day package, get 120 overall, 30 of those for free. The 30-day all-access package costs $299. So you're basically saving $300 on this particular purchase. The package includes the remainder of the college football season, the remainder of the NFL regular season, MLB through the World Series, CFL through the Grey Cup, the beginning of the NBA season. Remember NBA right around the corner. That will take place during this 120-day time span. You'll get NBA as well as college basketball, which also will begin during this time period. It's the busiest time of the sports year. You'll get 30 days for free with this offer. So again, 120 days total. Uh, 30 of them for free. It breaks down to less than $49 per week and just over $7 a day. Make that purchase. Again, it's the busiest time of year, most fun time of year, actually, with so much going on. Make that purchase over at wagertalk.com. All right, let's get into this game here. We're going to go NFL. We've done WNBA the last couple times out. We're going to do NFL here, Dallas at the Giants. Certainly, there's a heavy national narrative right now following the Dallas Cowboys. Truthful, but heavy national uh, narrative because they get so much attention across the country. It's widespread amongst the betting population that it's probably time to seize the opportunity. Most won't recognize the week-to-week -week differences of opposition, which is where this matchup presents all the value. And again, Somewhat simple hand handicap, but I think thorough handicap here. So let's go ahead and get into it. It's interesting that in week one at Cleveland against an injury impacted bottom tier offensive line, Cleveland, by the way, number 21 in run blocking and number 31 in pass protection, the Dallas defense had no trouble. They weren't pushed off the ball against the run. Micah Parsons went wild. The defensive front went wild, and Dallas won rather easily to the surprise of many because Dallas was a dog in that game. The next two weeks, however, they faced stiff offensive lines, very good run-blocking offensive lines. New Orleans and Baltimore ranked number 10 and 7 in run-blocking offensive line category, in the run-blocking offensive line category. They present the number 13 and number 2 rushing attacks in the league, and the Cowboys were manhandled. They can't stand up to these very stout, solid, offensive, run-blocking offensive lines and pass protection as well, but particularly run-blocking. That's a narrative here. Dallas can't play the run too small, too soft. The Giants' offensive line is nothing but bad, really. Number 30 run-blocking unit in, the, in uh, the NFL right now. And Dallas has shown they can handle this type of front. I wouldn't be surprised at all if Micah Parsons goes wild here. If the Giants backs, Devin Singletary in particular, can't get going against the Dallas front. The Giants also have the number one, number 21, excuse me, pass protection group. Again, an opening for Micah Parsons and that pass rush. The Giants offensive line just isn't what New Orleans was, what Baltimore was. It's more like what Cleveland is, and I expect Dallas to have a lot of success on the defensive side in this game. Offensively, we'd expect Dak Prescott and his healthy wide receiving core. Remember, his number one tight end, Jake Ferguson, came back last week. They should probably have extreme success against the Giants secondary, which ranks 22nd in the league. It's a porous secondary. The pass rush of the Giants is the concern here. You have to keep them off of Dak, but if Dallas does, and they probably will most of the time, then Dallas has got to march up and down the field. This is desperation time for Dallas at one and two. And I think this is in particular a buy low situation. Game open four and a half, immediately pushed to five and a half. That's where we sit here with this video. So that's where we'll play it. Dallas on Thursday night football, minus the five and a half over the Giants. Real quick on the way out here, I'd like to ask everybody to hit the like button. If you like the um, selection analysis, the free views that you've been seeing here on Wager Talk TV, go ahead, click that like button, click subscribe, join the 173,000 people that have already subscribed to Wager Talk TV. Let us know 
If you have a comment on this particular game or any game this weekend, I answer them as fast as I can. Good luck with all your plays. I'll see you soon with the next selection and analysis right here on Wager Talk TV.